From the popular Wix XP to the highly regarded Purelator Boss, we tested four of the most viewer suggested oil filters to see which one was the best. We simulated hot and cold temperatures, their ability to filter out fine particles, and send them off to a laboratory to assess their filtering performance. If you want to see our brand new oil filter testing rig and find out which one takes the crown, then stick around. You guys blew us away with your support for our last oil filter test, where we put four high mileage oil filters to the test with our trusty rig 1.0. We went from 400 subscribers to over 17,000, and we couldn't have done it without you. In fact, we're so excited to celebrate this milestone that we have decided it was time for an upgrade. Introducing the rig 2.0. Thanks to many of our viewers' awesome feedback, we have made several changes to the rig, including the addition of an oil heater, an upgraded positive displacement pump for a higher flow rate, high accuracy pressure gauges to measure differential pressure, and a calibrated oil flow meter. We'll explain this extra filter later. For our first test, we want to measure how restrictive each filter is at different flow rates for hot fluid simulation. Now, we want to make sure our testing is as repeatable as possible. Instead of using your typical store-bought motor oil like 5W30, we decided to go with Aeroshell 41, a mil PRF 5606 fluid. This fluid is the one currently being utilized by oil filter testing labs to conduct their ISO 4548 oil filter test. Quick disclaimer though, we're by no means implying we're actually performing an ISO 4548 test here. Those tests require million dollar equipment and a lab that we just don't have. But we want to make sure that we incorporate best practices to make this testing as fair and repeatable as possible. In order to perform a hot fluid simulation, we went ahead and heated the oil to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. Now, before you go to the comments section saying, there's nowhere near the operating temperatures, you would be correct. Normal operating temperatures range anywhere from 190 degrees to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. But like the ISO standard, we're trying to emulate the kinematic viscosity of motor oil at operating temperatures. In other words, this is a graph of 5W30 and this is a graph of 5W40 motor oil's kinematic viscosity for a range of temperatures. You can see it has a kinematic viscosity anywhere between 14 to 10 centistokes and 20 to 14 centistokes respectively at operating temperatures. And here is a graph of Aeroshell 41's kinematic viscosity. The aeroshell fluid at around 104 degrees Fahrenheit has a spec between 13.2 and 15.68 centistokes. Thus, simulating 5W30 at around 190 degrees Fahrenheit and 5W40 at around 220 degrees Fahrenheit. So for our first contender, we have the very popular Wix XP. Coming in with a price of $9.14 with a flow rate of 11 gallons per minute, the Wix XP comes in with a differential pressure of 8 PSI. And as we decreased the flow rate all the way down to three gallons per minute, it ended with a differential pressure of just 0.7 PSI. For our second contender, we have the highly requested Pure Later Boss. With a price of $12.76, it claims to protect your engine for 20,000 miles or 15,000 miles, depending where you buy it. It also claims to filter 99% of particles above 20 microns, but for only 10,000 miles. So what is it? 20, 15, or 10,000 miles of protection. You decide. At 11 gallons per minute, the Pure Later Boss comes in with a differential pressure of 8.2 PSI and a differential pressure of 1.1 PSI at three gallons per minute. Next up, we have the Napa Platinum Filter. For the price of $14.49, you get an authentic Windows XP Ward Art and protection for up to 20,000 miles. Is the Napa Platinum really the same as Wix XP? Let's find out. The Napa comes in at 8.3 PSI for a flow rate of 11 gallons per minute, and at 3 gallons per minute, it shows a differential pressure of 0.9 PSI. 
for our last contender of this episode, we have the Royal Purple, coming in with a ridiculous price of $26.40 after shipping. It claims to protect your engine for 15,000 miles. At 11 GPM, it has a differential pressure way above the others at 11.3 PSI, and it keeps that trend as we reduce the flow rate with a differential pressure of 1.5 PSI at three gallons per minute. As you can see from this graph, the Wix XP is the clear winner, providing the least resistant to flow at hot temperatures. But the Napa Platinum and Pure Later Boss are not far behind. The Royal Purple though struggled in this test. It proved to be extremely restrictive compared to the competition. For our second test, we will be testing the filter's restriction at cold simulation. Similar to our hot simulation, getting this amount of oil to 38 degrees Fahrenheit and keeping it there throughout the test is almost impossible with our setup. But just like the ISO standard, we're going to utilize ISO VG460 oil. This oil is thick at room temperature. So thick, in fact, that we actually had to heat it up to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit in order to replicate the kinematic viscosity of 5W30 oil at 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Here is a graph of 5W30's viscosity, and here is a graph of ISO VG460 oil. As you can see, they both have around 500 centistokes of kinematic viscosity at these respective temperatures. This oil smells so bad, it could clear out a room faster than our smoke detector from our last video. You said, and five prone to permit. The Wix XP has a differential pressure of 41.2 psi at 11 gallons per minute and 4.4 PSI at three gallons per minute. The Pure Later Boss comes in with 38.7 PSI at 11 gallons per minute and 4.3 PSI at three gallons per minute. The Napa Platinum had the lowest differential pressure at 11 GPM with just 35.7 PSI and 4.2 at three GPM. The Royal Purple comes in with a staggering 44.4 PSI of differential pressure at 11 gallons per minute and 7.3 PSI at three GPM. As you can see in this graph, the Royal Purple once again showing how restrictive it can be. The Wix XP, Napa Platinum, and Pure Later Boss are very close to each other with Napa and Pure Later just barely edging out the Wix XP. For our next test, the one that most of you came here for is the filtering performance test. Our previous video, we utilized used oil and send them to an oil analysis laboratory to see which one filtered the best. But in this video, and for the rest of the series, we will be using, once again, Aeroshell 41. Not just for the same reason as stated before of only heating it up to 100 degrees to simulate operating temperatures, but also because this oil is qualified as super clean. After speaking with the oil analysis laboratory, they mentioned that even brand new oil will have some sort of contamination in it, and that they utilize this exact same oil to calibrate their particle counting machines. Also, this is the oil they use for the ISO 4548-12 filter test. So after running isopropyl alcohol through the entire rig, we disassembled it and thoroughly cleaned all the fittings to ensure we had no residual oil. Have you seen my toothbrush? Afterwards, we filled it up once again with Aeroshell 41. We then baked several grams of ISO 4012 medium grade dust to ensure no moisture was present when weighing it. Yes, you heard that right, standardized dust. This dust has a very specific spread of particle sizes and comes with its own certificate. It was so expensive, we accidentally dropped a pinch of it and we almost had to file for bankruptcy. Once again, this is the same standardized test dust utilized by the ISO filter test. After weighing exactly 1.1 grams of this dust, we pre-mixed it into a 500 milliliter beaker using this magnetic stirrer and subsequently utilize an ultrasonic bath to homogenize it as best we can. We then place this mixture into our dropper and set it to introduce the mixture at about a rate of 250 milliliters per minute. In order to get a fair starting point, we installed a generic oil filter and ran four batches for a total of 4.4 grams of test dust and then utilized these two ball valves to divert the flow to this oil filter right here. We then ran the oil through this filter for a total of 30 minutes before every oil filter change. Why do we do this? Well, just like the ISO test, this is so we can filter out and reutilize the oil for subsequent tests. You see, this filter is capable of filtering down to 10 microns, 
much more than any of the other oil filters we're testing in this series. This way, we can ensure that all the oil filters are receiving the same amount of particulates above 10 microns. Another thing we change in our setup is the actual test being performed. Instead of performing a spectrometry test like before, the oil laboratory will be performing an ISO particle count test to give us the results of which filter performed the best. After running four batches through each of the filters, we collected the samples through our handy sampling valve over here. We package them up and send them to the laboratory. While we wait on that, let's go ahead and perform our last test, the capacity test. You see, we didn't just finish after four batches. We actually continued introducing contaminants until each of the filters initial differential pressure increased by 8 psi. The Royal Purple had a capacity of just 4.6 grams. The Wix XP took a total of 8.58 grams of dust. The Napa Platinum reached a total of 8.8 .8 grams. The Purulator Boss was able to gather 9.02 grams. In summary, the winner is the Purulator Boss with a total of 9.02 grams. Lastly, let's look at how these filters look inside after that capacity test. The Wix XP appears to be pretty well built with a silicone drain back valve, an integrated bypass valve, and a metal crimp filter media joint. The Napa Platinum has a silicone drain back valve, a metal crimp joint, and an integrated bypass valve. Although it did seem to catch every time we attempted to depress it. Just like the others, the Pure Later Boss has a silicone drain back valve integrated bypass valve and a metal crimp joint. The Royal Purple has a silicone drain back valve in their signature purple. But I gotta say, I'm pretty disappointed at their bypass valve. Not only is it not integrated, but it's not purple. As for the rest of their build, it looks pretty sloppy. There is glue absolutely everywhere in this filter. Not a good look for a $26 filter. In comparison, the Wix, Napa and Pure Later drain back valves are identical. They even have the exact same part numbers. The Napa and the Wix are absolutely identical in almost every aspect except the aforementioned bypass valve. We're not sponsored by any of these companies and we bought all of the filters and equipment with our own money. So if you want to support this channel, please consider liking and subscribing or even buying us a coffee in the link down below. After waiting two months, we finally got our lab results back. The particle measurements are divided into three separate ranges. Particles between 21 and 38 microns, particles between 38 and 70 microns, and particles greater than 70 microns. The Wix XP had 807.1 particles between 21 to 38 microns per milliliter, 10 between 38 and 70 microns, and 1 greater than 70 microns. The Royal Purple performed very well with 57.8, 0.3 and 0. The Napa Platinum performs similarly to the Wix XP with 978.6, 2.2, and 0.1. The Pure Later Boss had 31.6 particles between 21 and 38 microns, 0.3 between 38 and 70 microns, and 0 greater than 70 microns. As you can see, the Pure Later Boss edged out the Royal Purple ever so slightly and the Napa Platinum and Wix XP were very close to each other. For these four initial oil filters, here are the final results. Between the Wix XP and the Napa Platinum, I would hands down go with the Wix XP. Not only did it perform slightly better than the Napa, but it was also the cheapest filter of them all. If you value filtering performance, the color purple and not your wallet, the Royal Purple is for you. If you want a good, well-rounded performance and the best filtration of these four filters, the Pure Later Boss is the best choice. On the next episode of Best Oil Filters, we will find out if the orange can of death will live up to its name. If you want to find out how an oil filter works, click on this video right here. As always, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.